What's up, y'all? Today, we're gonna do a tutorial on how to install the new Chimera 22 Grom headlight plate. So, I'm really excited about this. I know you guys have been waiting for a long time, but we finally got it out. The quality of it is super nice. From design to final product, everything is executed beautifully. Even the hood is really well executed. We got that nice angle. So the way we designed this is so that we could retrofit the Baja Design Squadron Sport Light. As you install it, there's gonna be pivot points that allows you to adjust the angle. And then finally, you get to install this directly into the stock headlight shroud. So for the majority of this installation, we're gonna need a five millimeter Allen wrench. In this case, we're gonna use our trusty five millimeter attachment to our driver. You're gonna to wanna to disconnect the wiring harness. From here, you wanna undo these four screws and this eight millimeter bolt. When you install your headlight plate, you're actually got, not gonna need these anymore. So you can just set them aside. So from here, we're actually gonna bend these out a bit just to free up the headlight. Do the same thing for this side. Careful not to scratch anything. To remove the shroud from the bezel, first remove these four bolts. On the back, there are five clips snapped into place. Undo them carefully, and then gradually, they'll come apart. This is the hardest part. Start from the bottom and work your way up making sure the groove channels are seated into position, leaving the corner to be snapped into place. This requires some force to lock into position. If this seems too difficult, you can always buy this part pre-installed for a small service fee. So I took the hood off, and I'm gonna show you guys how to install it. So now that the hood is in place, we have four screws, two small ones and two long ones. Make sure that the two short ones go to the bottom dab a little bit of thread lock onto the screw itself. Screw them all loosely at first, and then finally you're gonna tighten them in a cross pattern. And then for the final, Little torque. So from there, we're gonna install the light brackets. Make sure that you have the 90 degree angle pointing up, like so. Again, we're gonna put some thread lock into these screws. Make sure it's a little loose and has a little play, so when you install the light, you can ensure your fitment. Get your bolts and hand tighten it. Tighten it pretty good, so you don't really got any play in between the two brackets. From there, you tighten these four bolts down. So earlier I recommended you guys hand tighten these two bolts so you could adjust the angle of the light. For most of you guys with a stock ride height, we recommend that you slide it all the way up and tilt it all the way down. And once you find a good tilt position, you can go ahead and tighten those two screws. You want to tighten the right bolt first so you don't lose that position. So now that everything's in place, 
we could go ahead and install the headlight plate into the second shroud. Let's line everything up. Once that's done, you can go ahead and get the stock screws, screw those back in, and finally get this headlight ready for the bike. I always kind of like to do my screws in a cross pattern. Probably doesn't matter in this case, but I do it anyway. So now all that is done, let's focus on connecting the actual light to the bike. So we provided some connectors that are T-tap. The way that works, you got this gray cap that will slot directly into the wire on the bike. On the other end, you got this red cap, which has a metal prong that actually pierces through the wire. So an easy way to remember what goes where, the T-tap connected to this green piece is the ground wire. We're gonna get this gray cap slide it directly into the green wire. From there, you wanna get this red end, screw that all the way in so that it's nice and snug. Now the white connector connected to this T-tap, this is positive. Do the same thing you did with the ground wire. Get the gray cap and slide it into the black positive wire. Get the red end, do the same thing, and screw it on to the gray cap. This is the left hand control harness. Undo them. This, just disregard. And connect the other end to the white connector, otherwise known as the positive wire. Finally, you can connect this green piece directly to the light, like so. Make sure it clicks in, we're good. When reinstalling the headlight unit, make sure the brackets on the bezel slot behind the chassis brackets. Make sure to line up the top tabs which will help hold everything into place. So since the stock battery in the 22 gram is fairly small and you're trying to power this very, very powerful light, we opted to do an on and off. Your low beam is gonna be your off switch and your high beam is gonna be your on switch. 